the big story that's coming in from Oslo. India's Kailash Satyarthi and Pakistan's Malala Yousafzai will receive their Nobel Peace Prize in Oslo on Wednesday. That's tomorrow. On the eve of the formal ceremony, a lavish reception was held for the prize winners in the Norwegian capital. Child rights activist Satyarthi and teenager Yousafzai, who stood up to the Taliban, will share the 1.1 million US dollars peace prize. In fact, after Malala has conferred the award, she will be the youngest laureate. Let's just listen in to what the two of them had to say. 57 million children today are out of school, the young children. And another more than 100 million, rather 120 million children are those who were forced to leave their school before attaining fifth grade. So if you put these figures together, then you can very simply draw a, a parallel that there is a chicken and egg relationship between child labor and education, child labor and poverty, poverty and education. None of them can be achieved without killing one of them or all of them together. So we have to break this circle. Uh, in our case, we have freed uh, thousands of children and I am so happy to say that uh, through the government schemes, Indian government has very good scheme for the rehabilitation of freed bonded laborers and bonded children. We have other schemes. Of course, sometimes it takes time, but we work hard and ensure that every single child gets the benefit under those government schemes. My own organization in India, Bachpan Bachao Andolan, runs three rehabilitation centers. This is education, rehabilitation and training centers so that the children who are freed can go there and uh, be educated so that they can join the mainstream education eventually. When you take a step, when you raise your voice, it really brings a change. So if we want to see no child out of school, then we have to speak and we have to contribute. And I'm really happy that my friends are here, Kainat, Shazia, and uh, Kainat Somra as well. They are from Pakistan. My friends from Nigeria and from, uh, from Syria are also coming, who is now a, a refugee and she's now living in Jordan. So I'm really happy that they are here with me and we all are standing together and telling the world that we are here to fight for our rights. And that it is all right to go to school. Why should it be neglected? Why are we fighting for something which, which we deserve? Because in this world, if we are thinking that we are modern and we have achieved so much development, then why is it that there are so many countries where children are not asking for any iPad or computer or anything else? What they're asking for is just a book and just a pen. So why can't we do that? Why can't we just give a book and a pen? Why can't we just give a school to children which can really change their future, which can really change their world? They're asking for nothing special, just a school. Headlines today is in the Norwegian capital of Oslo, the city which is pretty frosty this afternoon, just two o'clock in the afternoon here by the local clock, but temperatures already dropping one to two degrees below zero. Now, the city is preparing, of course, uh, for Christmas, the festivities just round the corner. But at the same time, it is also welcoming the Nobel laureates who are here, the Nobel Peace Prize winners. Kalash Satyati from India, a civil engineer turned activist who has been crusading since 90s against child slavery. And Pakistan's teenage activist Malala Yousafzai, who was shot by the Talibanis, but she won that battle. And ahead of the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony, of course, Malala and Kailash Satyaki addressing the a press conference jointly, where both of them acted as goodwill ambassadors of their countries. Malala stressing that while India and Pakistan might have borders, it does not mean that it should translate down to hatred for each other. And also saying that she would have been really happy if the two prime ministers had been here in Oslo for this momentous occasion. So India and Pakistan, while of course they are not talking to each other at the moment, uh, the dialogue has been cancelled off for the past few months. But here in Oslo, both an Indian and a Pakistani citizen will be sharing the Nobel Peace Prize for 2014 together. And a series of events, of course, have been planned in the run-up to the event as well as post the event as well. We will get you all those updates here in Oslo with video journalist Siddharth Safaya. This is Smita Sharma for Headlines Today.